welcome. John Marsh from Guitar Talk with John and Jamie, and I'm here at the 2012 LA Amp and Custom Guitar Show with Reality Web Video. I'm here with John Holt, and I'm here with Kemper Profiling Amplifiers, and we're just talking about this sort of idea of um, how uh, recording and cost-effective process and production, and John was telling me this great thing about the new, new amplifiers, so why don't you just tell me what's going on with it? Um, yeah, so what this does is it can make a blueprint out of any existing amplifier. So if you have a tube amp that you love, you have that sound, but you don't want to take it on the road or you got to go uh, go to Europe and do a tour or whatever, you can make a profile. It takes a couple of minutes, put it on here, uh, and then you're good to go. It, it copies the sound almost perfect. And wh what's the difference between this and like a modeling amplifier? Um, a modeling amplifier, you can't make the sounds yourself. Like, okay. I could go to your house and model all your amplifiers. Okay. Yeah, I can model all my amp. You can model any amp. It's, okay. It's really awesome. Okay. And then in terms of like the way the amp actually works in not just recording but live, you're saying that it has an overtone series and a bloom that's not like the traditional digital amp. Right. You, and that's that's what I'm tripping about on it because you, you get like all the dynamics and the harmonics. It's like if I play a little bit harder, it sounds different. I can roll up my sound and I, I can get I can get many different flavors just by using my guitar. And that's something that's been lost. In on all other digital amps. Okay. Like all of a sudden, it's, it's like playing a real amp, and I've, I've A to B. Wait, that's an important sentence. So all of a sudden, it's like playing a real amp. Yeah. Is it a real amp? Yeah, I mean, it's a real digital amp, but it's okay. not a tube amp. Okay. And I'm a total to tone snob. You know? Okay. I, I love tube amps. We now. love tone snobs, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I wanted it. All right. And you know, that's why I've been putting it all digital amps off, because I don't like the way they sound. But now it's like, in one amp, I mean, like in this guy alone, we probably have 500 different profiles. Okay. So it's, like I told one guy, whatever you want, we have 10 of those. Okay. So if you have an old Marshall, I have a bunch of old Marshalls. Okay. And when you're recording, what's the process for actually getting into a recording system? Uh, just mains out into whatever interface you have. Like I'm using an Apogee du uh, Duet too. Okay. So, so it's XLR out, balanced out? Yeah, or, or, uh, or a, a quarter inch. Quarter inch balanced? Yep. Okay, quarter inch balanced out. Is there a direct digital out? Like, for example, like a USB or Firewire or? Everything. They, they well, thought about everything. It even has a USB port, so if you want to take your sounds with you, but you don't want to take the actual amp with you, you can store it all on a USB stick, uh, go to any other Kemper profiling amp in the world, plug it in, and then you have all your sounds. Wow. And, uh, and, and in terms of wattage, how, what are we talking about here? The thing is, it's just a preamp. So ah, so you still need a power section. Right. You can't okay. run an amp. Yet, but I know they're working on it. They're working on it. Is that was that a secret thing? Secret. Thing. Wait, we may edit this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I know they're working on a, on a bunch of stuff. But I mean, it's already so thought through. It's like everybody who comes in. Do does it have can I? It's like yes to all the questions. So this would be a, an interesting question though. When, when at some point in the future, is are they going to put a tube power section after the actual amplifier preamp? Or I mean, this will be something we'll have to know in the future. Yeah, that I don't know. We don't know that yet, but it's an interesting question. Is they're going to take something that works like this? So, and how can people find out about uh, Kemper amplifiers? Uh, just go online, you know, KemperAmps.com. KemperAmps.com, okay. Right, uh, it's on Facebook. Uh, they're on all the social media. Okay. You know, they're really good at posting updates. Another cool thing about Kemper Online is everything is free. Like all software updates are free, and, and people are uploading their own profiles. Uh, all the time. So if someone sits in South Africa and he has a great sounding old Martian and makes a profile and um, he uploads it, then I can download it for free and have the exact same sound. So wow. You're literally walking in the, the biggest amp warehouse in the world and every amp is free. Okay. I, I mean, just out of curiosity, can you just talk me through the process really quickly? Because I'm really curious about this. What, what does it mean when you talk about blueprinting the amp? What, how, what's involved with the actual process? Okay, so here's what you need to do. You take your amp, you take your favorite amp, your favorite cabinet, you put your favorite mic in front. Okay. In your favorite room. Okay. You know, so all that, all that. So you set up a, pr a pretty good situation, right. basically. Okay. J just get your favorite tone. Okay. Um, and then you hook the camper into the amp. Okay. And you take the mic back, back into the camper. Okay. And then you, you press two or three buttons, it will send a bunch of test signals, a bunch of white no noise and wobbles, stuff like that. And two minutes later, you have a perfect copy of your amp. So I'm just seeing if I'm understanding this. It sends signal to the amplifier that it knows how to interpret what it's doing. Exactly. And it's recording it through the mic in the space. And by virtue of that test signal, it actually is able to understand how the amp responds to the way you would play through the amp. And then you've got a blueprint of the amp that's in the amp. That's it. That's and, amazing. And it gets all the information like about the EQ, gain, character, dynamics. I have That's no extraordinary. Idea. I, I mean, I've done it. I'm like, how does this turn into magic? But somehow. How long was the process? 
about two minutes. Really? Yeah. Okay, so in two minutes you can blueprint your own amp and basically have access to a whole lot of worldwide other people's things. Right. That's great. Right. I mean, I could literally make a profile on every single amp in this building right now in two hours. Wow. You could follow us around because we could use some help. Or, but uh, but, but like we're glad you're here at the LA Amp Show. And I know you're going to be participating tomorrow in the Guitar Talk uh, yes. panel with me and Jamie Keim at the LA Amp Show. So we'll look forward to that. You and me and awesome. Culver Hine and Jamie Keim. And uh, this is John March here at the LA Amp Show with Reality Web Video. We're here at Kemper Profiling Amplifiers with John Holt. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And I'll look forward to you being on the panel tomorrow. And uh, uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you later.